Hey, what's going on, guys? Christian Hanahar here. It's not going to be a very long video. I'm a little bit of a time crunch this week. But I wanted to talk about a movie that I don't think I've ever really talked about in depth before. And I'm not going to get too deep and break down the movie so much, but just talk about it. You know, one of the movies that I've heard so often about in, an, in a certain light is the movie Day of the Dead. Um, now, Day of the Dead is the third in the Romero dead cycle. Now, there would be more after this, but to a lot of people, there's three of them. There's night, dawn, and day. And while I'm not here to really argue that or say that the others after it don't have merit, like land, etc., there's no denying that the first three dead movies are so iconic. They're in the pop culture of horror and some of the biggest horror films ever made. But one thing I could say about Day of the Dead was the first time I watched it, I didn't really have that much of an opinion on it. And I felt bad about that. But the irony is when I would look into the film more, I saw that a ton of people felt the same exact way. Maybe it was because Dawn of the Dead was so well received and so regarded as this masterpiece of American horror from George Romero that Day of the Dead was just like a band that changed its complete sound and you're just like, what's going on? You know, it's like listening to an ACDC record from George Romero that you know the way it's supposed to sound and what it should be, but then it sounds like Rush or something, or it sounds like Pink Floyd. It just throws you off. Not that it's necessarily bad, but it would be a film that I would constantly want to revisit because something about Day of the Dead constantly made me want to go back and say, I refuse to say I don't like this film. I gotta see what it is about this film that I'm just not getting. And I really think that I wasn't necessarily not getting anything about the film. It's just that it wasn't what I expected it to be. Dawn of the Dead is this grandiose, over-the-top, great movie about zombies in a mall, and there's chases and, and action and great sequences. And Day of the Dead is really this movie about almost this mental claustrophobia and not trusting the people around you and knowing that when things get ugly, people are going to get ugly. It's much more of a contained film and has a completely different feel. And I love George Romero for that. Those first three dead movies all feel incredibly different from each other. And I think that's one reason why they all have such an outstanding legacy. I can honestly say that after watching Day of the Dead for a number of times over a number of years, it has become my favorite of the dead movies without question. Now, don't get me wrong, Night of the Living Dead is a masterpiece, and Dawn of the Dead is undeniable. But something about Day just gives it that weird feel that I like, and it's so refreshing when you get to it when you're watching the Romero Dead movies. It's got that Halloween 3-ish thing to it. It's just beats different. It feels different. It sounds very different. One of the coolest things about Day of the Dead is its score. It's much more of this synth you know, emotional track with these weird hits and beats that I just love so much. It gives Day of the Dead this feel that's unlike anything else. I can really respect George Romero for making all those first three Dead movies feel so differently. And I love the themes that he would put into those movies, especially part three. Not trusting each other is something I can relate to. I've been in situations where things were ugly and the people around me get ugly too. It's just in human nature. Not all of us can be good people and want to protect those around us, but really just want to save our own skins. It's something that we deal with all the time when the world gets ugly, considering some of the stuff we have going on now. This movie has some great stuff in it that I have come to love so much. You guys know I'm a big fan of Tar Man. Well, guess what? I think that the second coolest zombie ever is Bub. Finally, we get to get a profile on a zombie in a horror movie like Day of the Dead that's really cool and gives us a look at this character from a point of view that they have. Here's a zombie that you think is brainless and dead, but you really get to see that there's something there. And the Bub zombie not only looks great, but it also became a favorite character from the movie in general. Bub has his own masks from Trick or Treat Studios now, and I know that they're selling. I see people with a Bub mask all the time. And I can totally see why. He's a great character, and Romero did a great job writing this film. All the characters in this movie are really well fleshed out. I even love the bad guys. The bad army guy that's in charge, but really just kind of denies any kind of thought output from anybody else but himself is a great character and the payoff of him at the end is undeniable even though this film's gore isn't throughout the movie constantly when there's gore in this movie it's worth it and it's impactful and the ending of him in this movie is one of the greatest gore scenes 
ever. I definitely recommend getting the Scream Factory Blu-ray, and I'm really shocked that it's still in print, quite frankly. Day of the Dead has been out for a long time, and this release is undeniable. The interviews with George Romero on here are so great, and rest in peace to him. I miss him till this very day. One of the things that made me really happy was to hear George talk about how high he thinks about this film and that it's his favorite. I thought that was really cool, and it made me feel good to know that, hey, I'm not weird for making Day of the Dead my favorite. George loves it too, and I think that's great. I really miss George. I wish he was still around making films, but he lived a long, great life, and he has a great filmography. There are other great George Romero films that I love and plan to review someday. He's got a lot of great titles like Monkey Shines, The Dark Half. He's a great director and made some amazing films. But if I was going to tell one person that's really a George Romero newbie to get into him, even though it would be out of order, I would say... Day of the Dead's one of his all-time best. You definitely need to check it out. So I ask you guys, what are your thoughts on Day of the Dead? Are you a fan of it, but it took you a little while to get into it? I know that that seems to be the case with a lot of people, but I'm just so glad that Day of the Dead is such a great film in my life and one of my favorites. It's one of those films that you just gotta watch it again and watch it again, and then it starts seeping into your bloodstream almost. It's one of those films that does it, you know? There's a few films like that where at first I'm just not sure what to think, and then all of a sudden I'm like, I think this is one of my favorite movies. That's Day of the Dead for me. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll put an affiliate link down below for this Blu-ray in case you guys want to pick it up from Amazon. Thank you guys for watching this. My name's Christian Hanna-Hor. We'll see you next time.